Flight 100.5 is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Flood warning in effect from early this morning to this evening. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Wells River at Wells River. When? From early this morning to this evening. Impacts at 6.0 feet. Water approaches as Highway 302 along the Wells River in Groton, South Rygate, and Wells River. At 8.5 feet, flooding occurs in the town of Wells River beginning at the fire station at the intersection of routes 302 and 5 and continuing down Route 5 until the Happy Hour Restaurant. Buildings on the east side of Route 5 flood. Low-lying roads and buildings along the Wells River may take on water in Groton and South Rygate. Additional details at 1. 45 in Thursday, the stage was 5.9 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 7.0 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage this afternoon. Flood stage is 6.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning in effect from this morning to late this afternoon. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? The Royal River at Johnson. When? From this morning to late this afternoon. Impacts. At 13.0 feet, water will cover portions of Route 15 in Cambridge at the Wrong Way Bridge. There will be extensive field flooding along the Lamoille from Morrisville to Cambridge. At 14.0 feet, water will cover Route 15 at the Wrong Way Bridge in Cambridge and may cover Routes 108 and 109 in Jeffersonville. Additional details, at 2.30 a.m. Thursday the stage was 11.5 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this morning to a crest of 13.4 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage late this morning. Flood stage is 13.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. New Hampshire Emergency Alert System in order to conduct a practice demo. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire Emergency Alert System. Flood warning in effect until this evening. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Bokeh River at Willsboro. When? Until this evening. Impacts. At 7.5 feet, water will approach the banks along stretches of the Bokeh River in Willsboro, Essex, Westport, and Elizabethtown. At 8.0 feet, minor land flooding of fields and poor drainage areas along the river is expected in portions of Willsboro, Essex, Westport, and Elizabethtown. High water will approach Decker and Merriam Forge Roads in Westport. Additional details, at 3.30 a.m. Thursday the stage was 7.9 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage early this morning to a crest of 8.5 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage this afternoon. Flood stage is 8.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash 
flood. Flood warning in effect until late this afternoon. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Connecticut River at Wells River. When? Until late this afternoon. Impacts at 11.0 feet. Low-lying farmland near the river begins to flood initially on the Vermont side. Additional details. At 4.32 a.m. Thursday, the stage was 10.4 feet. Forecast. The river will rise above flood stage to 11.3 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage late this morning to 8.8 .8 feet tomorrow evening. It will rise to 9.0 feet early Saturday morning. It will then fall again and remain below flood stage. Flood stage is 11.0 feet. Flood warning in effect until late this afternoon. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Connecticut River at Wells River. When? Until late this afternoon. Impacts at 11.0 feet. Low-lying farmland near the river begins to flood initially on the Vermont side. Additional details. At 4.32 a.m. Thursday, the stage was 10.4 feet. Forecast. The river will rise above flood stage to 11.3 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage late this morning to 8.8 .8 feet tomorrow evening. It will rise to 9.0 feet early Saturday morning. It will then fall again and remain below flood stage. Flood stage is 11.0 feet. warning in effect until late this afternoon. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Connecticut River at Wells River. When? Until late this afternoon. Impacts at 11.0 feet. Low-lying farmland near the river begins to flood initially on the Vermont side. Additional details. At 4.32 a.m. Thursday, the stage was 10.4 feet. Forecast. The river will rise above flood stage to 11.3 feet this morning. It will then fall below flood stage late this morning to 8.8 .8 feet tomorrow evening. It will rise to 9.0 feet early Saturday morning. It will then fall again and remain below flood stage. Flood stage is 11.0 feet. Test the emergency alert system. This is only a test.
The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Clark NV, Esmeralda NV, Lincoln NV, Nye NV, and White Pine NV, beginning at 5.43 a.m. and ending at 6.43 a.m. Required weekly test. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. K Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Flood warning in effect from this afternoon to early Saturday afternoon. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Connecticut River near Dalton. When? From this morning to early Saturday afternoon, impacts at 17.0 feet, minor land flooding begins. Additional details, at 7.15 a.m. Thursday, the stage was 16.3 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage this afternoon to a crest of 17.8 feet early tomorrow afternoon. It will then fall below flood stage Saturday morning. Flood stage is 17.0 feet.
water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels and oil rigs, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots and suddenly higher waves. Boats could sustain damage or capsize. Make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. Return to safe harbor if possible. Locations impacted include Orleans Marina and Kenner. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. National Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for Western Craven County in eastern North Carolina, Southeastern Green County in eastern North Carolina, North Central Jones County in eastern North Carolina, Northeastern Lenore County in eastern North Carolina, Southeastern Pitt County in eastern North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. At 8.45 a.m., emergency management reported thunderstorms producing heavy rain and flooded roadways across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, emergency management reported. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Greenville, Kinston, Winterville, Avon, Griffin, Chalmerdine, Gruniers, Wise Fork, Kinston Regional Jet Port, and Gardnerville. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely.
The National Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for East Central Duplin County in eastern North Carolina, West Central Jones County in eastern North Carolina, Southwestern Lenore County in eastern North Carolina, Northwestern Onslow County in eastern North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. At 8.52 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 2 and 4.5 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1.5 to 3 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Brillaville, Potters Hill, Sarrecta, Pink Hill, Lyman and Harjit's Crossroads. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. National Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for West Central Craven County in eastern North Carolina, Northwestern Jones County in eastern North Carolina, Southeastern Lenore County in eastern North Carolina, until 11.45 a.m. At 9.31 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 1 and 2.5 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Kinston, Phillips Crossroads, Pleasant Hill, Wise Fork, Dover and Cove City. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. National Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for Northwestern Beaufort County in eastern North Carolina, Central Martin County in eastern North Carolina, Northeastern Pitt County in eastern North Carolina, until 12.30 p.m. At 9.54 a.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 3 and 6 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Williamston, Stokes, Robersonville, Pactolus, Gramethland, Simpson, Everts and Burgrass. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. 
Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. a test. This station is participating in a coordinated monthly test of the Rhode Island Operational Area Emergency Alert System. The Rhode Island broadcasters, in cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities, have developed this system to provide immediate warning information or instructions. If this had been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official news, information, or instructions. This concludes the test of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for kids and MN, beginning at 10.43 a.m. and ending at 11.43 a.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a kids and county test. Came 49 a.m. The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a flash flood warning for Eastern Gates County in northeastern North Carolina until 2 p.m. At 10:48 a.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to three inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of one to two inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Sunbury, Core Peak, Savage, Eason's Crossroads, Acorn Hill, Trotville and Hazleton. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report flooding by calling 757-899-2415, posting to the National Weather Service Wakefield Facebook page, or using Twitter at NWS Wakefield, V.A.
repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 2 p.m. for the following county, Gates, North Carolina. This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations of the East Central Michigan operational area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a weather-related or civil emergency, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test from the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of North Dakota beginning at 10.53 a.m. and ending at 11.53 a.m. This is a required weekly test of the North Dakota Emergency Alert System. This concludes the test. No action is necessary. to 10 months. This is the National Weather Service Office in Binghamton, New York. The tones you just heard were a test of the specific area message encoding and tone alert systems. During dangerous weather events, NOAA weather radio receivers can be activated by these systems. A message with information about a watch or warning would follow. Tests of these systems are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test may be postponed until the next good weather day. Repeating, this was a test of the specific area message encoding and tone alert systems. weekly test. This is only a test. Renville County. Chance of rain. This is a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device for WXL-34. We activate this alarm for the following counties in New York State, Albany, Rensselaer, Montgomery, Fulton, Saratoga, Schenectady, Schoharie, Green, and Columbia Counties. This has been an alarm test. test from the state of Idaho emergency alert system. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Communications Center in Meridian, Idaho, and is now concluded.
Allen County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system? If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. Chance of rain 40... This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm. During periods of potentially severe weather, special receivers are activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests for these receivers are normally conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. When there is a threat of severe weather on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the first available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working condition. The tone alert will be automatically activated for selected watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In Indiana, Porter, Laporte, St. Joseph, Elkhart, LaGrange, Steuben, Stark, Marshall, Kosciuszko, Noble, DeKalb, Woodley, Allen, Miami, Wabash, Huntington, Wells, Adams, Grant, Blackford, Glasgow, and Jay. In Ohio, Williams, Fulton, Defiance, Henry, Paulding, and Van Wert. And in Michigan, Berrien, Cass, St. Joseph, Branch, and Hillsdale. For more information, see our webpage at www.weather.gov slash IWX and click on NOAA Weather Radio under Local Information. We now return to regular programming. Once again, at 11 a.m. in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The signal you just heard is our weekly test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm System. We normally conduct the test on Wednesdays around 11.15 in the morning. However, if there's a threat for severe weather on Wednesday, we'll postpone the test until the next available good weather day. Be advised that weather conditions will affect the signal quality of the broadcast. We'll activate the warning alarm tone for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties. On 162.40 megahertz from Onondaga, those counties are Branch, Calhoun, Clinton, Eaton, Gratiot, Hillsdale, Ingham, Jackson, Livingston, and Shiawassee. On 162.425 megahertz from West Olive, those counties are Allegan, Muskegon, and Ottawa. On 162.475 megahertz from Hesperia, those counties are Muskegon, Nuego, and Oceana. On 162.525 MHz from Mount Pleasant, those counties are Clare, Gratiot, Isabella, Macosta, Midland, Montcalm, and Osceola. On 162.55 MHz from Cannonsburg, those counties are Allegan, Barry, Ionia, Kent, Montcalm, Muskegon, Nuego, Oceana, and Ottawa. On 162.475 MHz from Plainwell, those counties are Allegan, Barry, Van Buren, Kalamazoo, and Calhoun. On 162.425 MHz from Wolf Lake, those counties are Manistee, Wexford, Mason, Lake, Osceola, Oceana, Nuego, and Macosta. This concludes the test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device. A required weekly test of the Southern Nevada Operational Area Emergency Alert System. This message is originating from the City of Las Vegas Emergency Operations Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. This system is used for warnings and essential safety information. 
During emergencies, tune to a participating radio or television station for directions, safety instructions, and other official information. This concludes this test of the Southern Nevada Operational Area Emergency Alert System. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Virginia beginning at 11.30 a.m. and ending at 12.30 p.m. A required weekly test has been issued for all Virginia. Tune to your local TV or radio station. A chance of showers. is a test of the all-hazards NOAA weather radio warning device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built weather radios will be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of these radios and the warning alarm system will be conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will only be activated for warnings in selected watches affecting the listening area. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This 
is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations of your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Flood warning in effect until late this evening. What minor flooding is forecast? Where? La Royal River at Jeffersonville. When? Until late this evening. Impacts at 447.0 feet. The La Royal River will begin to leave its banks around Jeffersonville and downstream through Cambridge Village. Persons with interests in the floodplain, such as farmers, campers, and seasonal canoe and kayak operators should move their equipment to higher ground. At 450.0 feet, water will rise to near the edge of Route 15 in Cambridge Village at the Wrong Way Bridge. There will be widespread field flooding from Jeffersonville downstream through Fairfax. At 451.0 feet, water will cover Route 15 in Cambridge Village at the Wrong Way Bridge. Traffic diversions may be necessary, and motorists planning to travel Route 15 through Cambridge should allow extra time to detour around the flooded roadway. There will be widespread field flooding from Jeffersonville downstream through Fairfax. At 451.5 feet, Route 15 in Cambridge becomes impassable. Traffic diversions will be required, and motorists planning to travel Route 15 through Cambridge should allow extra time to detour around the flooded roadway. There will be widespread field flooding from Jeffersonville downstream through Fairfax. Additional details, at 12.15 p.m. Thursday the stage was 449.4 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage this afternoon to a crest of 450.1 feet late this afternoon. It will then fall below flood stage late this afternoon. Flood stage is 450.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. was a test of the National Weather Service Emergency Warning System from Huntsville, KIH-20. This test is conducted at approximately 11.30 each Wednesday morning, weather permitting. If this had been an actual emergency weather situation, the warning alarm would have been followed by an actual watch or warning. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even if you are using a quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will normally be activated for warnings in selected watches within a 40-mile radius of your transmitter. This area includes the following counties in the Huntsville listening area. In Alabama, Jackson, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan. In Tennessee, Lincoln and Giles. This concludes the weekly test of the warning alarm system. We now return to our normal weather broadcasting. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Michigan beginning at 12.50 p.m. and ending at 1.50 p.m. This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Michigan State Police State Emergency Operations Center in Lansing. If this had been an actual emergency such as a tornado, toxic material release, nuclear plant incident, widespread phone or power outage, or other state or local emergency that affects your safety, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. at 1.31 p.m. The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a flash flood warning for Camden County in northeastern North Carolina, Currida County in northeastern North Carolina, the city of Chesapeake in southeastern Virginia, the central city of Virginia Beach in southeastern Virginia, until 4.30 p.m. At 1.30 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to two inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Virginia Beach, Great Bridge, South Mills, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Fentress Field, Northwest, Back Bay, Princess Inn, Hickory, Mount Pleasant, Chesapeake Airport, Herbert's Corner, Greenbrier, Gallup's Corner, Sharon, Lily, Pungo, Sigma, and Ocean Inez. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report flooding by calling 757-899-2415, posting to the National Weather Service Wakefield Facebook page, or using Twitter at NWS Wakefield, V.A. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 4.30 p.m. for the following counties, in North Carolina, Camden and Currituck, and the following independent cities, in Virginia, Chesapeake and Virginia Beach. National Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for Western Beaufort County in eastern North Carolina, southeastern Martin County in eastern North Carolina, southwestern Washington County in eastern North Carolina, until 4.45 p.m. At 1.42 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. 
Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Washington, River Road, Pine Town, Bunyan, Terracia, Goose Creek State Park, Trocoinity, Jamesville, Washington Park, and Smithwick. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for Biscayne Bay, coastal waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida out 20 nautical miles until 2 p.m. At 1.42 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located over Turkey Point, moving east to 5 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Elliott Key, Convoy Point, Card Sound, and Bicky Point. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Washoe and V, beginning at 1.50 p.m. and ending at 2.50 p.m. Test test test. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. Test test test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Oregon and Clark WA, beginning at 2.02 p.m. and ending at 5.02 p.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test, no action is needed. This is only a test. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for Biscayne Bay, coastal waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida out 20 nautical miles until 2.30 p.m. At 2 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located over Card Sound, moving southeast at 10 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts at 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Card Sound and Turkey Point. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. at 
2.15 p.m. The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a flash flood warning for the northwestern city of Chesapeake in southeastern Virginia, the city of Norfolk in southeastern Virginia, the city of Portsmouth in southeastern Virginia, the northwestern city of Virginia Beach in southeastern Virginia, until 5.15 p.m. At 2.15 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 0.5 and 1 inch of rain has fallen. The expected rainfall rate is 2 to 4 inches in one hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 3 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Virginia Beach, Norfolk State University, Downtown Norfolk, Virginia Wesleyan University, Downtown Portsmouth, Regent University, Old Dominion University, Kempsville, Ocean View, Jerkland, Deep Creek, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Norview, Ghent, Norfolk International, Norfolk Mez, Craddock and South Norfolk. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report flooding by calling 757-899-2415, posting to the National Weather Service Wakefield Facebook page, or using Twitter at NWS Wakefield, V, A. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 5.15 p.m. for the following independent cities, in Virginia, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Portsmouth and Virginia Beach. County Sheriff's Office is issuing a golden alert for Sherry Fugate. Ms. Fugate is five foot tall wearing a red shirt and was last seen early this morning in Berea. If you see this person, please contact the Madison County EOC at 859-624-4776 or Deputy Kermine at the Madison County Sheriff's Office at 859-623-1511. Weather Service in Newport has issued a flash flood warning for Northwestern Beaufort County in eastern North Carolina, Northwestern Craven County in eastern North Carolina, Southwestern Martin County in eastern North Carolina, Pitt County in eastern North Carolina, until 5.45 p.m. At 2.33 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the Warren area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. 
Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Greenville, Washington, Winterville, Farmville, Bethel, Stokes, Bell Arthur, House, Pactolus, Shelmerdine, Calico, Blackjack, Bruce, Old Ford, East Carolina University, Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, Pitt Greenville Airport, Gramesland, Fountain and Simpson. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. following is a flood watch statement. Flood watch in effect from Friday morning through Saturday afternoon. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is possible? Where portions of northern Delaware, including the following area, New Castle, New Jersey, including the following areas, Camden, Gloucester, Hunterdon, Mercer, Middlesex, Northwestern Burlington, Salem, Somerset and Western Monmouth, and Southeast Pennsylvania, including the following areas, Delaware, Eastern Chester, Eastern Montgomery, Lower Bucks, Philadelphia, Upper Bucks, Western Chester and Western Montgomery. Portions of Central Delaware, including the following area, Kent and Northeast Maryland, including the following areas, Caroline, Kent, Maryland, Queen Anne's and Talbot. When, from Friday morning through Saturday afternoon. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Creeks and streams may rise out of their banks. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Low water crossings may be flooded. Additional details, widespread showers and thunderstorms combined with tropical moisture will result in areas of heavy rainfall across the watch area from Friday morning through Saturday. Rainfall rates may exceed 1 to 2 inches per hour. Forecast rainfall amounts range from about 2 to 3 inches where inches are possible. What? Flash flooding caused by excessive rainfall is possible. Where? A portion of Northeast Maryland, including the following county, Cecil. When? From Friday morning through late Friday night. Impacts. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Additional details, multiple rounds of heavy showers and thunderstorms will move across the area starting early Friday morning and continuing through Friday evening. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are expected, with isolated higher amounts possible. Please visit www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood for flood safety and preparedness information you should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Cameron Parish in southwestern Louisiana, southeastern Jefferson Davis Parish in southwestern Louisiana, southwestern Acadia Parish in southwestern Louisiana, northwestern Vermilion Parish in southwestern Louisiana until 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Mermontau and is nearly stationary. 
the storm will slowly move southwest towards Lake Arthur. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Jennings, Lake Arthur, Gaydon, Mermontaw, Klondike, Morse, Riceville, Egan, Estherwood, and Midland. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. From the Powhatan County Sheriff's Office. There is law enforcement activity in your area. Citizens are urged to stay in their homes until notified of the all clear. If you see anything suspicious, contact 911. Thank you for your assistance. This is from the Powhatan County Sheriff's Office. From the Powhatan County Sheriff's Office. There is law enforcement activity in your area. Citizens are urged to stay in their homes until notified of the all clear. If you see anything suspicious, contact 911. Thank you for your assistance. This is from the Powhatan County Sheriff's Office. Issued at 5.08 p.m. Flood warning in effect until 11 p.m. this evening, replaces flash flood warning. What, urban area and small stream flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where, portions of northeast North Carolina, including the following counties, Camden and Kerrvick in southeast Virginia, including the following independent cities, City of Chesapeake and City of Virginia Beach. When, until 11 p.m., streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Streams continue to rise due to excess runoff from earlier rainfall. Additional details, at 5.08 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the warned area. Between 2 and 6 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Virginia Beach, Great Bridge, South Mills, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Fentress Field, Northwest, Back Bay, Princess Inn, Hickory, Mount Pleasant, Chesapeake Airport, Herbert's Corner, Greenbrier, Gallup's Corner, Sharon, Lily, Pungo, Sigma, and Ocean Inez. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. 
been issued until 11 p.m. for the following counties, in North Carolina, Camden and Currawock, and the following independent cities, in Virginia, Chesapeake and Virginia Beach. at 5.41 p.m. Flood warning in effect until midnight Eastern Daylight Time tonight replaces flash flood warning. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is occurring? Where a portion of Northeast North Carolina, including the following county, Gates? When until midnight Eastern Daylight Time tonight? Impacts flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Additional details at 5.41 p.m. Local law enforcement reported flooding in the warned area. Between 3 and 10 inches of rain have fallen. Some locations that will experience flooding include Sunbury, Core Peak, Savage, Eason's Crossroads, Acorn Hill, Trotville and Hazleton. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Repeating, an aerial flood warning has been issued until midnight Eastern Daylight Time Friday for the following county, Gates, North Carolina. The National Weather Service in Phoenix has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Hula County in East Central Arizona until 3.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. At 3.01 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Sawmill, or 27 miles northeast of Globe, moving southwest at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Globe and Hilltop. This includes the following highways, Us Highway 60 between mile markers 255 and 277, Arizona Route 70 between mile markers 260 and 267. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for the following county, Tula, Arizona. The National Weather Service in Phoenix has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Hula County in East Central Arizona until 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. At 3.21 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Globe, moving southwest at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Globe, Miami, Central Heights Midland City, Claypool, and Inspiration. This includes the following highways, Us Highway 60 between mile markers 242 and 262, Arizona Route 70 between mile markers 253 and 259, Arizona Route 77 between mile markers 164 and 170. For your protection move to an inch. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Indiana beginning at 6.37 p.m. and ending at 6.52 p.m. This is a test of the Indiana U.S. system. This test is conducted in coordination with the Indiana broadcasters as a public service to the citizens of Indiana. Miles southeast of Superior, moving southwest at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of Pinal County. 
This includes Arizona Route 177 between mile markers 159 and 162. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 4.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for the following county, in all, Arizona. National Weather Service in Paducah has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Perry County in South Central Illinois, Southwestern Jefferson County in South Central Illinois, Central Franklin County in South Central Illinois, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.51 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Cesar, or near Wren Lake area, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include West Frankfurt, Benton, Christopher, Wren Lake Area, Cesar, Valier, West City, North City, Buckner, Waltonville, Orient, Hannaford, Ewing, and Nazan. This includes Interstate 57 in Illinois between mile marker 64 and 82. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.30 p.m. for the following counties in Illinois, Franklin and Perry. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Butler County until 7.30 p.m. At 7.08 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 9 miles east of Putrin, or 9 miles north of El Dorado, and is nearly stationary. You can expect 2-inch hail and 60-mile-per-hour wind gusts. The warning was based on an emergency management report. The following impacts are expected, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include El Dorado, El Dorado Lake, and El Dorado State Park. Open has issued a required weekly test for Fairfax VA, beginning at 8.10 p.m. and ending at 8.25 p.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system for WJONIP radio. Equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado or a flash flood warning, an official message would have followed the alert once heard at the start of this message. This station serves the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area and is the Northeastern Relay Station for the GWESUS Relay Network. This test will conclude in five seconds. This is only a test. Standard time, a dust channel was near La Palma, or eight miles south of Coolidge, moving southwest at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, less than a quarter mile visibility with strong wind in excess of 40 miles per hour. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes the following highways, Arizona Interstate 10 between mile markers 179 and 204. Arizona Interstate 8 between mile markers 164 and 178. Arizona Route 87 between mile markers 125 and 126. Locations impacted include Casa Grande, Arizona City, La Palma, Arizona, Toltec, and Sacotone. 
uh, storms lead to dangerous driving conditions with visibility reduced to near zero. If driving, avoid the storms if possible. If caught in one, pull off the road, turn off your lights and keep your foot off the brake. National Weather Service in Paducah has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Williamson County, Illinois, southeastern Franklin County in south-central Illinois, until 8 p.m. At 7.21 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near West Frankfurt, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include West Frankfurt, Pittsburgh, Thompsonville, Orient, and Hannaford. This includes Interstate 57 in Illinois between mile marker 62 and 68. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. for the following counties in Illinois, Franklin and Williamson. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Butler County until 8.30 p.m. At 7.26 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near El Dorado, moving south at 10 miles per hour. You can expect to inch hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Source, Broadcast Media. The following impacts are expected, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include El Dorado, Tawanda, El Dorado Airport, El Dorado Lake, and El Dorado State Park. This is a test of the emergency alert This is system. a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. The emergency KHPR alert system. Honolulu, KIPUA Wailuku, KAMO Hilo, KHPH Kailua Kona, KIPL Lihue, KJHF Kuala Pu'u. Test of the broadcast stations of your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies. If this had been an actual emergency, such as an earthquake, chemical spill, or others, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
Terry Lake, Adam Slack, Crowner Lake, Richardson Lake, and Wild Horse Slack. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in North Platte. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Garden, Nebraska. and 97.5 KHII radio is testing equipment that could quickly notify you of an emergency situation in our area. KHI radio serves the Otero County area. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system. A child abduction emergency has been issued for Sweetwater County, Wyoming. Tammy Day was abducted at 4th and Main, Rock Springs at about 9.45 a.m. The abductor was male, about 6'3", wearing blue bib overalls and a red check. Southeastern Garden County in the Panhandle of Nebraska until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.13 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles southeast of Crescent Lake National Wildlife Refuge, or 18 miles north of Oshkosh, moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Llewellyn, Eagle Gulch Campground, Ruffin, Hayforn Lake, Clear Creek State Wildlife Management Area, Racket, Deer Lake, McKeague, Otter Creek Campground, Ash Hollow State Historical Park, Belmar, Boar Quinn Hill, Adams Flats, Blue Water Battlefield State Historical Park, Windless Hill, and Dogtown Flats. This includes the following highways, Highway 61 between mile markers 109 and 120, Highway 92 between mile markers 115 and 128. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in North Platte. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Arthur and Keith. Western Nebraska until 11.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time or 12.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. 
at 10.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, or 11.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm was located near Hegler, or 16 miles northwest of St. Francis, moving southeast at 10 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Cheyenne County in northwestern Kansas and southwestern Dundee counties in southwestern Nebraska. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, or 11.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Cheyenne, Kansas, and Dundee, Nebraska.